Hello, I'm Sydney. I'm part of the youth group. I'm actually going to my last NYG this year. Um, I'm going to be no reading Knowing the True God. This is eternal life that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Imagine taking a tribesman from Kenya and putting him in downtown Chicago without any lessons in English, American history, or the legacy of Chicago club, Cubs. The poor man from Kenya would be lost in the dark. Everything would be strange, crazy, and insane. Apart from knowing God, we are lost in the dark. Everything is strange, crazy, and insane. Disregard knowing God, and we sentence ourselves to stumbling through life blindfolded, with no sense of direction and no understanding of who we are or what anything is all about. If we don't know God, we waste our lives and lose our souls forever. What does it mean, then, to know God? Is knowing God a quiver in my liver or an ocean of emotion? Is knowing God a dreamy, off-the-ground floating feeling? Does knowing God take a special sort of intellect? Do I hear a voice? Do I see a vision? None of the above. To know God is to know Jesus. Jesus shows that, in spite of our selfishness, narcissism, and sin, God never gives up on us. When soldiers spat in his face, Jesus didn't give up. When a whip ripped open his back, Jesus didn't give up. When nails crushed his nerves, Jesus didn't give up. Come what may, come what may, God doesn't give up. God will never give up on you. To know that this is tr truly known, to know that this is to truly know God. Jesus, give me a heart that knows you trust, trust you and follows you. Amen. We continue with Martin Luther's morning prayer. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. I'm